I'm sure you've seen those giant Gantz-like boxes in the sky in question. Well gee, how do I get up there? In this visual guide of Tears of the Idiot, me, not you of course, you'll learn how to enter the sky labyrinths and maybe snag some loot on the way without any trouble. But I must warn you, if you're against spoilers, please leave as I want you to have the most authentic experience of Tears of the Kingdom that you may want. This guide assumes that you've been to the bottom portion of the land, not the depths, and completed their quests in their respective locations. And with that, we begin at the Lome Sky Labyrinth, located in the Akala skies towards the northeast of the map. Before we start, I recommend having some stamina food and rocket slash fans, just in case. This guide is intended with minimalistic supplies in mind. Five stam bulbs in a dish works perfectly for this guide. I recommend two of these dishes. We start at the Ulri Mountain Sky View Tower. After letting it shoot you into the sky, you'll want to look for a little island with Minecraft Steve walking around. You don't need to defeat the Flux Construct too, however, the loot is valuable if you're interested. Luckily, this area has prepared us with everything we need, but it's not quite a straight path. Look for the platform connected with a bunch of fans and a battery. Attach the remaining batteries that are in the area to create a flying machine capable of reaching the next area. Trust me, unless you have a lot of charge, it won't help to go straight towards the labyrinth. So instead, go towards the right northeast where another shrine resides. I recommend activating it if only to return in case of mistakes. With the labyrinth in sight, we can use the terminal on the island to activate the pushing mechanism. Use it to jump towards the next platform where you'll see a zonai on a hovering machine. Kindly puncture it like a Capri Sun and commandeer its floating platform. Side note, these platforms are great as they won't fall out the sky. I recommend using rockets found on the platform and two fans to propel you as close to the area as possible. Eventually, you'll need to glide the rest of the way. For this, make sure if you don't have enough stamina gauges that you come prepared with stamina consumables. If you miss the platform altogether, use the send so that way you can make it up to the top. Now I won't spoil what's inside of the labyrinth, however you'll be tasked with finding 4 labyrinths and once you do, it'll open up a path where you can dive from the sky all the way down to the depths for some juicy treasure. Can't let you do that, Star Fox. Next, in the Gerudo Desert, we have the South Lome Labyrinth. We will start at the Gerudo Canyon Skyview Tower. You can locate a small island that has exactly what we need fittingly. Attach the rockets to the wings on the platform and a battery, preferably a big battery, and you'll be able to clear the gap with ease. Note, falling damage does happen in these low gravity areas. Same as the previous dungeon, you'll be tasked with finding four more terminals before being rewarded with a one-way trip down to Yamcha Town. Finally, we have the North Lome Labyrinth located in the Tabantha Tundra. We will start with the Piked Stone Grove Skyview Tower. Head towards the Sky Islands in the direction of the labyrinth and you'll find a bunch of floating platforms. Use the rockets to get you to the Zonite Gacha Machine and another shrine. Make sure again to activate it just in case of any mistakes. 
from this platform, you can use the push machine on the island to go back and to any of the floating platforms that you may need. I recommend placing the floating platform behind the gacha machine and adding two fans and some rockets. Make sure the rockets propel you upwards and in case you didn't get enough, you can actually add a rocket mid-flight. Like the previous one, if you miss it, you can use Ascend to place you right at the shrine. Another four terminals, and you have another dive to Yamcha Town. And voila, you've completed all the labyrinths, but the best part is this awesome Ganondorf outfit. Now you can save the Kingdom of Hyrule as the King of Thieves. Enjoy! Thank you for watching this video. How was your experience in the labyrinths? Are you interested in this content? Consider liking and subscribing for more Zelda content as well as other game related content. It's been your boy Clutchmaster, and we'll see you in the next video. Clutchmaster out.